is really good. This is next level. I mean, that is the best way to start your day, guys. Whenever I'm back in Bangkok, I'm always trying to do the things I used to do as a local here. Now, some of these things are very hard to find unless you're in the know. So come with me, I'll show you where I run and some secret food spots along the way. About 7 a.m. here in Bangkok, we're in Lumpini Park, and look at this. <laughs> this is my ultimate breakfast. There are some of my favorite things right here on this table. We have gai tot, fried chicken and rice. We have khao man gai, the steamed chicken and rice. We have mo dang, which is the red rose pork. Mo grob, crispy pork. We have gang kua. And then here we have the classic gang kyo wan, the green curry, but this one is with fish balls and a vegetable that's delightfully called bak. So, sorry. So it's a, it's, a, it's a green melon, but that's what it's called. Anyway. <laughs> That is the best way to start your day, guys. Chicken is really crispy. The sauce itself, not too sweet. And that rice is really beautifully flavored. I always think the test of a good chicken rice is always the rice and lovely grains and infused with like chicken flavor. Look at that crispy chicken. I just love, you know, whenever I hear that like chop, chop, chop sound, I get excited. I'm gonna go in here with the Kalman guy. Now, the test of a really good Kalman guy is in the sauce. So I've got my sauce, chili sauce here, let's see. No chicken stall will tell you the recipe for their chili sauce. This one is particularly good. It has a lovely, deep, savory flavor, and it's not too spicy, and it's not too sweet, this one either. Ah, oh, that is really good. Okay, I want to get in here and try the green curry now. I don't know why, the curry always tastes better when you're sitting like in a food market in Thailand. Oh, beautiful spice to it, really good depth of flavor. And the melon, so if you haven't tried this vegetable before, really lovely, it actually, even though it has a very rude name, it soaks up all the flavor of the curry. Imagine kind of like a potato kind of texture, but without the floweriness, if you like. I have my red roast pork. Mm. I love that this is breakfast in Bangkok. Gets me every time. It's so good. Crispy pork. Look at that. Look at that crispy pork skin. You hear that crunch? Mm, yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's so good. Mm. Okay, this is gangkua, and it is sort of like red curry, if you imagine a red curry, but a little bit more intense in flavor. Really nice and spicy, and that fish is really lovely and soft and tender. That is so good. So friends, I actually have a lot of videos on how to make most of these dishes. So if you want to check it out, you can make my Thai fried chicken and rice. Oh, make that pop up there if you're the, my editor. <laughs> Uh, come on, guy, make that pop down there, maybe. <laughs> I also have roast pork recipes, twisted pork recipe, you know, red curry, green curry. So actually, you can make this entire table of food at home if you wanted to. Or you can come to Lumpini Park and actually check it out. Now, the cool thing about this park is it's often described as like Bangkok's Central Park, if you like. Uh, it's probably not as big as Central Park, but it really does hold the same kind of like community feeling as Central Park, if you like. Everyone is here running, exercising. On weekends in particular, it's really busy here and you kind of, you know, you feel, I don't know, calm and relaxed and at peace when you're running around in a beautiful park like this. Why you love running so much? <laughs> I don't know if you heard Gao, he just said, why you like running so much? <laughs> okay Gao, so see all this food? It's got to go somewhere. <laughs> no, you would have seen guys, if you'd watched my channel for a while, I love running. I'm like always filming myself running in different locations around the world. It's something that I love to do, it relaxes my mind, um, keeps me at peace. So yeah, it's my, it's my, Meditation, if you like. I love it. So, 
I mean, it's really nostalgic for me. This is where I used to come with my family every weekend. Sometimes with my daughter, Charlie, she actually grew up eating this chicken rice for breakfast every Sunday morning. Every time I'm in Bangkok, I always try to come back and running plus food, <laughs> it's like my ideal morning. So now, the natural habitat of the giant lizard. No. <laughs> We're like I'm, I'm David Attenborough. One of the other things that Lumpini is very famous for is um, these giant lizards. We found one swimming, but they kind of crawl around everywhere giving people the creeps. <laughs> what do you reckon, Gao? It's cute? Is cute? No? <laughs> let's go, let's go. <laughs> Hey, Gal, watch out! <laughs> so here we are just outside the northeastern entrance to the park, and this, this is going to blow your mind. Okay, so this is pretty much all you can eat for a dollar fifty US. That's right, so I can go back and fill up my plate as many times as I like from the buffet. Okay, we have steamed rice, fried rice, I'm gonna go with steamed. And now we get to choose. I'm gonna go with curry. This looks like a chicken and eggplant curry. This one looks popular. Is this good? Bruh. <laughs> oh, duck, it's duck. Ooh, everything smells so good. Pet my honey. Pet cow. Pet die. Yum. Hot. This one's spicy. It's a spicy fish. Okay, let's go. This is next level. And actually, you know it's good when all the taxi drivers are rocking up, right? So I'm really interested in this spicy fish stir fry that they've got going on. Mm. I love that flavor. It's spicy. It's so fragrant. Oh, yeah. This is the curry. I think it's chicken or it could be fish ball. Let me taste it. Mmm, it's fish ball and the duck. Mmm, I really like the flavour. It's like a sweet soy flavour. It's maybe like, if I was going to be cookie, like a little bit chewy, but I mean, for like $1.50 all you can eat, I don't think it can be that cookie. Okay, and now the vegetable stir fry. So the guy said zucchini, but actually I think this is a Thai vegetable called pho. Now, I don't think I've ever seen this vegetable in Australia, so there's no like direct, I don't know, uh, comparison to a vegetable that's similar. I'd say probably most similar to like a cucumber. So let's see. Yeah. It's just a really mild tasting vegetable that then kind of soaks up the seasoning of the sauce. It's nice and mild and comforting. And then you've got that like really spicy fish and all those other really big flavors. So it's nice to kind of balance out the plate a little bit. Wow. This is like the best buffet ever. <laughs> okay, so this is pretty much the only running video on the internet where there's actually more food than running. But anyway, sorry, not sorry. Um, <laughs> I mean, we had like fried chicken and rice, steamed chicken and rice, different types of pork, so many curries. What else? Oh, a breakfast buffet of curries. <laughs> anyway, I am going to finish off my run with a coconut. You know, electrolytes, all that kind of stuff. <laughs>